The year 1958 marked the dawn of a television series that not only entertained, but also left an indelible mark on classic Hollywood. Lawman, a series known for its gritty portrayal of the Old West, has intrigued many with its iconic cast and timeless stories. Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Perhaps you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor who graced the screen in Lawman. Before we dive into the world of this series, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's unravel some captivating facts about Lawman. Lawman, the 1958 TV series, emerged from the golden age of Western television, bringing a fresh take on the genre. Set in the rough and tumble town of Laramie, Wyoming, the show was created by prolific Western writer and director Roy Huggins. What set Lawman apart were its iconic characters, with John Russell in the lead as Marshal Dan Troop, a principled lawman, and Peter Brown as his young and quick shooting deputy, Johnny McKay. The dynamic between these characters was a key element, depicting the mentor-protege relationship in the Old West. The show's unique style lay in its commitment to exploring moral dilemmas and the complexities of maintaining law and order. While traditional Westerns often painted a stark black and white picture of good versus evil, Lawman delved into shades of gray, presenting ethical quandaries faced by the characters. The series showcased the challenges of upholding justice in a lawless land, where Troop and McKay often had to make tough decisions that blurred the lines between right and wrong. Lawman made its mark in popular culture by offering a more nuanced and character-driven approach to the Western genre, garnering a dedicated following during its four-season run. While it may not have reached the same iconic status as some of its contemporaries, the show's influence on later Western TV series and films is undeniable. Lawman left a lasting legacy as a series that elevated the Western genre by delving into the human aspects of its characters and the moral complexities they encountered. Lawman, a TV series from 1958, stands out as one of the few Warner Brothers westerns of its time that didn't feature a crossover with stars from other shows. This unique quality set it apart from its contemporaries. The absence of such crossovers allowed Lawman to maintain a distinct and self-contained narrative, focusing solely on its own characters and plot lines. The show's dedication to maintaining this separation contributed to its individuality within the Western genre of the late 1950s and early 1960s. Dan, the central character, had a brother named Clay, who was portrayed by James Drury. The presence of this sibling added depth to Dan's character and brought forth family dynamics that played a significant role in the show's storytelling. In an effort to attract more female viewers in the second season, the producers took a unique approach by having Peter Brown, one of the main cast members, leave his shirt unbuttoned. This change in wardrobe may have contributed to the show's appeal to a broader audience. These elements, along with the show's engaging storytelling and Western setting, made Lawman a memorable series in the late 1950s. In the 1958 TV series Lawman, one notable fact is the series' action-packed nature. During the show's first season, Marshal Dan Troop, portrayed by John Russell, faced injuries six times and was shot twice. His deputy, Johnny McKay, played by Peter Brown, endured four injuries, but was never shot. The gunfights were a significant part of the show. Dan shot and injured seven people and, quite remarkably, shot and killed 24 individuals throughout the first season. Johnny, on the other hand, shot and injured three people and shot and killed 12. These statistics paint a vivid picture of the show's action-driven plot. Moreover, Dan's injuries were far from ordinary. They included a bear mauling and getting hit by a tree used as a wagon jack. These events added a unique touch to the series, making it stand out among other Western-themed shows. The most intense episode in the first season was the 26th one, titled The Gang, where Dan and Johnny collectively shot and killed five people. This high-octane episode showcased the intense law enforcement portrayed in Lawman. All in all, Lawman was a show filled with action, shootouts, and unique injury scenarios, making it a memorable part of television history. Let's delve into the 1958 TV series Lawman. This classic show, set in the Old West, featured Johnny, a deputy who wasn't always keen on his job. In fact, he quit his job three times during the series. The first time, he had doubts about his biological father's outlaw past. 
The second time, it was because he felt his boss, Dan, was trying to take credit for his achievements. The third time came after he had to shoot a childhood friend, leaving him questioning if he had the stomach for the lawman life. Besides these dramatic twists, lawman also had a quirky aspect. Whenever someone fell to the ground, whether falling off a horse or hiding behind a rock, the same sound effect was used. That added a distinctive touch to the show. Furthermore, the series had a bit of a comic book presence. Eleven comic books based on Lawman were published from 1958 to 1962, showcasing the enduring popularity of the show. In a nutshell, Lawman was a 1958 TV series that combined Old West drama with some unique elements, making it a memorable part of television history. In the 1958 TV series Lawman, there's an interesting statistic from its third season. In this season, the two main characters, Dan and Johnny, faced a lot of danger. Dan got injured five times and was shot four times, even having to shoot left-handed at one point. He also shot and injured two people and shot and killed 22. Johnny, on the other hand, was injured five times but was not shot. He shot and injured three people and shot and killed five. In one episode of the third season, they both managed to shoot and kill four people. Despite the trivia indicating a toning down of violence, the numbers show that Dan's kills remain consistent, while Johnny's were halved. Those shot and injured by Dan were two each season, while Johnny's numbers increased from one to three. This fact sheds light on the action-packed nature of the series, where the main characters found themselves in numerous dangerous situations, often resulting in gunfire and injuries. It's a glimpse into the gritty and fast-paced world of Lawman in its third season. With that, you get a sense of the show's intensity and the challenges faced by Dan and Johnny as they maintained law and order in their town. In the 1958 TV series Lawman, Johnny McKay, portrayed by John Russell, had a tough upbringing. His parents were killed when he was just 10 years old. He was raised by two family friends he called uncles. Uncle Jess was played by Edgar Buchanan, and Uncle Joe was portrayed by Frank Ferguson. One interesting fact about the show is that it reused scripts from other series. In one episode, the script featured a retired gunfighter who informs the hero that he can no longer use his shooting hand. He then goes to the widow of his former business partner and offers her money that rightfully belongs to her. The widow's son refuses and challenges the gunfighter to a shootout. The gunfighter refuses to back down while the hero tries to talk him out of it. John Russell got to act out the same story on two different shows. On Cheyenne, he played the retired gunfighter, and on Lawman, he played the hero trying to talk the gunfighter out of the shootout. Another curious detail is that the recurring character Oni O'Reilly, portrayed by Joel Grey, was shown as being younger than Johnny McKay on the show. However, in real life, Joel Grey was three and a half years older than Peter Brown, who played Johnny McKay. These facts provide a glimpse into the backstory and interesting aspects of the 1958 TV series Lawman. It's clear that the show had some unique elements and connections to other Western series of the time. As we bid adieu to the timeless classic, the 1958 TV series Lawman, we invite you to embark on a journey of reflection, a voyage through the corridors of your own personal connection to this remarkable show. Perhaps you were captivated by the fearless Deputy Marshal Dan Troop, played by the unforgettable John Russell, or maybe it was the rugged charm of Peter Brown as the young Deputy Johnny McKay that drew you in. Whatever it was that etched Lawman into your heart, there's something undeniably special about this series that has stood the test of time. This was an era when the Wild West came to life in black and white, where dusty streets held secrets and justice was served with a sense of duty and honor. Lawman transcends the boundaries of time, reminding us of a simpler yet profound aspect of storytelling that continues to resonate with audiences even today. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts, memories, and favorite moments from this iconic series. What characters, episodes, or themes left an indelible mark on your heart? Did Lawman leave you with valuable life lessons, or was it simply a cherished escape from reality? We invite you to share your Lawman stories and reflections, for it's in our collective appreciation that we keep the spirit of this series alive. Thank you for your time and interest in celebrating the beauty of Lawman with us. Your connection to this show is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, 
and we're grateful to have shared this moment of reflection with you. Stay tuned for more captivating journeys into the world of film and television, all crafted with passion and precision.